So on a random sunny afternoon, you're heading back to the car lot where you parked your car for over two to three hours. And when you eventually hop into the car, the cabin is very, very hot. So what do you do? The first thing you obviously do is start the car and crank up the AC. But what if you don't take on your gauge cluster and see that you're on E, empty. That means you almost run out of fuel. And the nearest radio station is like 20 minutes away. So you, you think, okay, should I just wind down the glasses and drive to top of my fuel? Or should I just use the AC? You know, growing up as a kid, my dad used to always tell us to bring down the window, see, the, the glasses that were low on fuel. So when we top up, we can bring it up back up and use the AC. So I'm going to answer this question we've all been asking in Nigeria. Does the car AC consume fuel? <laughs> yeah, I made a lot of research and I'm going to answer this question in this video. So if you're still not up upon this video, I do car reviews, I do other car contents. So consider subscribing to this channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my contents I drop weekly. Subscribe. So first of all, let me explain to you what these buttons and knob on this climate control zone actually mean. So first of all, we see this knob here. This knob is to control the speed of the fan. So if you listen, when I increase it, you hear the sound of the fan increase. So you hear that, right? And this one here is to control the temperature. So as you can see this red part, if, you, if I pull it down this way, I am going to increase the temperature. So you can use this in winter, hamatan, or the rainy season, whenever it's cold. And if I pull it down this way, I'm going to decrease the temperature in case the weather is hot. So this button here is to put on the AC. Let's put on the AC. Okay, the fan has to be up here. Yeah. Put on the AC. And this one here is for air circulation. So this one here is to activate the vents that is on this part of the car here to defrost the windshield. So the air conditioning system has three components. The evaporator, the condenser, and the compressor. So let's talk about the evaporator. So the evaporator in a car is where the liquid refrigerant turns into a gas and then a fan in your car blows in hot air through and removes the heat. So contrary to popular belief and what people think, the AC vents do not blow in cold air into the car. Instead, it takes out the heat from the warm air that is in your car, thereby making the temperature drop and then you feel cold. So the gas moves back through the system where it is brought back to a liquid phase in the condenser. So for it to condense easily, it needs to be compressed by the compressor. Do you get? So it needs to be compressed by the compressor. And for that compressor to work, it requires like a little bit of energy. And that energy comes from the belt that is obviously run by your engine. So when you put on the AC, it puts more load on the engine. So the engine has to burn more gas for it to overcome the load. And that would consume fuel. But just like it's a little bit of fuel, like a very, very small percentage of fuel. So you might not actually feel it when you're driving for long distance. You will, the, fuel, the, the fuel consumption from the AC will just be really small. So yes, it consumes fuel, but in just very, very small amounts. So to conserve fuel, is it advisable to bring down the glasses, the windows, so you just use fresh, you just drive with fresh air instead of the AC? I would say no and yes at the same time. So when you're driving at higher speeds, and you bring down the windows, it elevates the aerodynamic drag, like a lot of air resistance will be there. So it will make your car engine work harder to push through that air resistance and it will obviously burn more fuel than the AC would actually take if you use the AC instead. The AC doesn't really use a lot of fuel on high speed. So it's advisable to use the AC if you're on high speed, then bring it down your windows. But at we really are good at lower speeds, it consumes fuel, but um, a little bit more, a little bit more fuel, it consumes a little bit more fuel. So, I hope I've answered the question that yes, the AC uses fuel because obviously it uses the fan, like uses the belt in the engine which has to work with fuel, but it just consumes a very small amount of fuel so you wouldn't notice that at all. Okay, so it consumes around 10%, yeah, 10% of fuel when you're driving. And one other thing, if maybe it's a cold season and you don't want to use the AC system at all, it is advisable to turn on the AC for like 10 minutes every two weeks. So you don't get to spend a lot of money after maybe the weather has become hot and you want to use the AC. So if you're going to use the AC for like a few months, turn it on for 10 minutes and let it run for 10 minutes every two weeks. My last advice would be for, for every Nigerian, 
Just use your AC. Don't kill yourself. The fuel amount you take is just very, very small. So don't go and fit inside your car because you're trying to save amounts of fuel. Of, see, Nigeria is hard enough. So just try and reduce the hardness and just give yourself a little bit of comfort when you're in your car. Use your AC. So I'll come to the end of this video. Hope you like the video. So smash the like button if you like this video. And click on the subscribe button. Yeah, I need to subscribe when I do it in the beginning. So go, go click on the subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications. So YouTube will just send you a location, a notification <laughs> when we drop a new video. So you don't get to miss any of our videos. So subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. Also follow me on my social media platforms on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, all at Retro Drive. So thanks for watching.